Hey everybody, I'm back here again today. It's been a few weeks since I have posted a video. Um, had a vacation, went to Vegas. Didn't get a chance to go to Legacy Sports Cars like I normally do, um, but uh, I do have a lot of pickups over the last couple weeks. Targets has now uh, been a little bit easier to get a hold of baseball cards, especially online. And then uh, I picked up this from David Adams. I had a gift card left over from Christmas. So we're gonna open that up today. We will get a autograph guaranteed. We are trying to replace something on my little intro video that I have there. It's been a long time since I've had something new to put up there. I think it's been about a year and a half actually. So hopefully we can see something there. Um, probably will have a lot of videos this week just because it's been a while and I've got the itch to open. So uh, we'll see a lot of stuff go up, but we're gonna start off with the most expensive thing. I think this was, I think after it was shipped, it was $100 or something like that. So uh, so anyways, we'll see what we get. They do throw in a free Topps Bunt Pack, which uh, doesn't really have anything great in it, but typically, but we'll see what we get. Do see a bent corner. So I don't have a lot of these. Just looking for some Astros, I guess. I don't even know if they have rookies. There's a trout, that's always nice. Um, we got some type of Alex Gordon insert there. A Piscotti insert. A uh, pack of trading cards, digital trading cards. Which I'm sure is expired. Doesn't look like we're gonna get an Astro. It's kind of a bummer. Oh, George Brett, nice legend there. So just a little free pack, it's pretty cool. Give you a free pack of cards. But now the main event, so like I said, this is uh, this year's finest, 2021 finest. I like to get a hobby box of these every year. Um, the hobby box actually comes with two mini boxes in it, but it's so expensive or it was expensive this year, so um, I decided to just get one mini box. I think I did that one other year. So uh, anyways, we'll see what we get here. I really like these cards. It's always a nice set. And if you like shiny cards, you'll like these. So uh, let's see what we get here. So odds. They don't have odds on the cards. I guess it's on the box. Yeah, here we go. Here's your odds. If you wanna freeze it, Super Fractor would be cool. <laughs> Just take a autograph of a decent rookie or a star that I actually recognize. All right, let's see. We got a Debbie Garcia. And a Jojo Romero is going to be our autograph in the first pack. Always a bummer to pull it in the first pack. Um, I don't know anything about Jojo. So we'll have to see how he pans out. I'm not the biggest fan of pitcher autographs, but sometimes they end up turning into something really good. So we'll see. We've got a Redon Purple. Uh, so that's out of... It's out of 250, if I can get it to focus, there we go. So, uh, numbered parallel there. Then a nice Joe Adele rookie card, so that's kind of cool. And a Dalton Varsho rookie. So we got four rookies, one autographed, and a star purple parallel. Maybe we'll get a pretty cool numbered card. Uh, and the rest of the box, we'll see. There is a William Contreras rookie. There is a Montcastle rookie, so this is pretty cool. We've got a Manny Machado refractor. An Acuna base, and an Arenado base. So I guess the Montcastle is the better card out of that pack. Here's another nice rookie to start this one off, a Kirill off. There's a Soto base. Pretty nice 
Mike Trout. Unfortunately, he's got a print line right down the middle of it. It kind of sucks. But uh, nice little insert of Trout. You got a Verlander, so there's an Astro from a PC, and then a Harper base. Alright. Baez. So Kyle Lewis. Oh, this may be nice right here. You got an Alec Bomb backwards. All right, we got a numbered out of 300. I don't know if this is just a refractor and they number the rookie refractors or not, but that's probably the best card we have. Easy. Um, so that's pretty cool. Nice. Nice card there. And then we've got a Miguel Cabrera and a U Darvish to round off that pack. All right, we're gonna have a Max Kepler. Here's a Clark Schmidt. Got a Buster Posey refractor. Seems like all of our refractors are Bets, Mankata, and Bets. So, oh, Schmidt was a rookie. I was fixing to say we had an all vet pack there. All right, one last pack, and we'll wrap it up. I'll talk about what the rest of the week looks like and uh, go from there. So, Ian Anderson rookie. It's nice. A nice Tatis Legacies card. Oh, with Tony Gwynn. Kind of reminds me of the old Illusions football cards they used to have. I like that. Let's see if we can't get it in frame. And a nice Mountcastle Masters. No print line on the Mountcastle. There's a Yordan. That's a nice Astro card to get right there. And then a nice Judge to end it up. So. Some solid players. I mean, everyone in this is a pretty good player. You get a pretty good bit of rookies, um, you know, and you're guaranteed the autograph. So I'm always a big fan of these uh, finest mini boxes. I do like to get the whole box if I can though, just cause you typically get one good auto and one rookie auto that may or may not turn out kind of like this one. So. Whoever got the other mini box in this one from uh, Dave and Adams probably got the better auto. That's okay. Sometimes you, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But uh, I enjoyed opening it up. All right. So the rest of this week, I do have, I do have a football contenders box. I got a lot of Stadium Club. I got some Absolute. Even have Bowman sitting here for the last couple weeks. So I'm probably gonna do more than my normal two or three videos. Probably do it until my light runs out. And uh, we'll see how many we can get up this week. All right, guys. If you like the uh, channel, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And uh, I will catch you on the next one.